many St. Louisans have left here to follow their dreams all the way to Hollywood. Heidi Glaus followed them and all this week introduces us to the people who have made it big. Well, for comedian Kathleen Madigan, it all started with an open mic night at the Funny Bone at Westport. After that, she drove around the country in her Mercury Tracer to comedy clubs for 10 years until she headed to Hollywood. Now she's known for many late night talk show appearances and her own HBO comedy special. Johnny's walking around going, I'm going to be an astronaut. No, no, you're not, Johnny. <laughs> We just got your test scores back. You're going to make crystal meth with Scooter in Group B. Hey, guys, that's it for me. Kathleen Madigan is a funny woman on stage and off. I don't get nervous if it's cable. If it's actually a real channel, then I'm like, uh-oh, this could have more than 500,000 viewers. I better pay attention. When she knows she's on. Am I on? Are we taping this? And even when she doesn't. I want to be on Hollywood Squares, and I would say that in my bunk bed with my sister. And I'm like, I'm going to grow up and be on Hollywood Squares. And I finally ended up. I was next to Ed McMahon and Alf. That's not exactly what I had pictured, but I'll take it. As you're about to see. She has gladly accepted everything she's been given over the years. This is my most pr prized possession. Uh, this is my 1978 hoop shoot. First place at height four foot five. Just so you Girl. know, it's not like this is her only possession. All right, here's uh, this is my American Comedy Award. It just sort of shows you what Kathleen is really like. And this is my favorite award because they spelled my name wrong. She has plenty of pictures that are meaningful. That's me and Stevie Nicks, my idol. And that's me and Bob Hope where I look 40 but I'm only 25. And I have a court jester jacket on. And one in particular that isn't. This is Gerald Ford. I am not a Republican, but I did like Gerald Ford. I don't know why I thought it was hilarious. It Other people go... That's ridiculous. Why do you have a picture of Gerald Ford? I guess that's what makes her one of the funniest women in America. But she has other talents. I have a 41-year-old woman, and I know Ozzy Osbourne, and I'm not embarrassed to say it. This is my North County coming out. Ready? This is fluorescent. Who's ready for fluorescent? I'll do it without the pick. You can see why she stuck to comedy, and the WNBA wasn't formed when she was in her prime at only four foot five. Only three inches away from being a dwarf. So, but people, I did shoot them underhanded, but you know what? I got 14 out of 15. But nothing has stopped her from fulfilling her dream. This is the pool that I have wanted since I was 10 years old. And who knows what lies ahead for this comedian who grew up in St. Louis. One thing you can probably count out is a career in music. <laughs> Kathleen is actually coming to town Thursday for two shows at the Bottleneck Blues Bar at the Maristar Casino. However, she's so popular they both sold out immediately. You can buy her comedy CDs and DVD on her website. We'll link you to that on KSDK.com. I'm telling you, she is always funny. I like her exuberance about her guitar playing. <laughs> <laughs> wonder how many times Stairway to Heaven has been attempted. Oh, <laughs> I don't think you could count them. A lot of fun. Thanks, Heidi. Thank you. It's 645. We'll be right back.